From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a huge night as the Dow falls another 800 points on top of last week's major drop across the board. And with that, the erosion of this U.S. economy continues. The housing market down, the stock market down, the auto industry imploding, and need for stimulus is really at hand. And thank goodness, later in this recording, we're going to get those big checks. A forced stimulus check is now in every U.S. state, and we got those checks later in tonight's recording. They're huge. Upwards of $80,000. Step one, become a member. Step two, subscribe. And step three, stay to the second half of this video as we go over those checks and how to get it. It's a night like any other, but tonight we have some really great news as well. That's coming up in just a second. The day started with a lot of bad data, and that bad data included the downward spiral in the auto industry, the housing market, and the storm out to sea as a recession is looming. But what also happened today is that gas prices went even higher, and they're not seeming to settle down. Meantime, also hitting as well is the surging unemployment concerns as more layoffs were announced by corporate America. Meantime, what's at also issue is the inflation remained really high on Friday, and it's now spooking Wall Street. It's spooking investors. It's spooking crypto. As Dow fell dramatically, stocks fell dramatically, bonds fell dramatically, and crypto imploded. But amidst all this, we do have one. We actually have two great news stories tonight. One, that a forcible check is in every U.S. state, and I have those incredible checks for you later this recording. Stay with me. And the other major breaking news story tonight, I told you on Mornings LA, it would be coming up tonight, and it is. Get ready for this. Your checks could be going up. If you're on SSI, SSVI, SSA, or anything similar like that, like RB, your checks are going up. Confirms the Social Security Administrator tonight. I'll go over how much they're going up, when they're going up, and how much more you could see in your wallet. Great news on a night in which we have a lot of bad economic data, but the great elements is that I'm getting you money, and they're coming up later in this recording. Stay with me, because over this one-hour broadcast, we've got a lot to go over. We're going to go over what happened on Wall Street today and what's coming up next for you and your money. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. And over this one-hour broadcast, we got a lot to go over. It starts right now. And good evening, everybody. It's a big night with so much at hand with the great news of those additional sums of money coming with you to you if you're a beneficiary. Those checks and that amount of money is coming up later in tonight's recording. I'm very excited for you. And yes, that is if you're on SSA, VA, RB, SSI, SSDI. How much is it more? How much more? How When are they coming? I got all that incredible details coming up later in this recording. But stay with me because over this one hour broadcast, we got a lot of other money to get you. And that money involves, yes, a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. We're going to go over those huge checks. I need you to do three things right now. One, promise you stay with me later in this recording because we're, that's where we're going to go over those checks. Two, go into the video right now and subscribe. And number three, hit that join button and join and become a member to get that incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday, that delivers the information about the links of how to apply for this money and everything else that you need to know. We got a lot of checks, upwards of $80,000, and they're coming up for you later in tonight's recording. But we start tonight with the telling details of what happened on Wall Street and why the implosion of this U.S. economy is just getting started. It started on Friday when the consumer price index number was released and it signaled that inflation is going a lot hotter. 8.5% is what that inflationary number released on Friday, the CPI said. And that spooked Wall Street and spooked investors. And with that, numbers continue to surge higher. Tonight, the impact of that bad read continues across the board. And we're going to go over that impact of that read starting right now. A lot to know and a lot of money and a lot at issue. And we're going to go over all the details starting this evening. That CPI, which is a consumer price index, gauges how much inflation is. 
And Wall Street thought we had inflation under control. Wall Street thought we had seen the peak of inflation. Wall Street thought it was going down. Jay Powell promised us that head of Federal Reserve, he's getting inflation down. That was going to be a soft landing that he had in control, that those interest rate spikes are going to work. I said no to all the above. And guess what happened? I was right. It didn't work. On Friday, the CPI numbers released the consumer price index number, and it surged everything out of control. Why is it such a problem? If they do not have inflation under control, then it dominoes a lot of other problems. For June 13th, 2022, let me tell you where we are tonight. That CPI number released on Friday, 8.5%, higher than expected. It was supposed to be at 8.4%. That immediately eroded consumer confidence. On Friday, a read of consumer confidence showed that the average American consumer was at the lowest level of confidence since the lockdown of March 2020 of the pandemic. Ouch. This is what the consumer is thinking in that new survey released on Friday. This is the recession. They believe it is, which it's not. They believe this is the worst it's going to get, which it's not. And they believe that it's not going to be particularly longstanding. It's going to be in and out very quickly. It's not. And that is why it's important for you to watch the videos throughout the day because there is so much happening let me tell you what happened today. Boy, oh boy. On Friday, when that CPI number was released, we sur- we dropped, the Dow Jones dropped 800 points. Today, we did the same. The Dow Jones was down 830 points throughout much of the day, down 2.66%. S&P down 4%, and NASDAQ down 4.2%. Oil was up, tech was down, and retail was down as well. Boeing, Chevron, Dow, all down 7, 5, 4%, 5%. NASDAQ being hit left and right. Amazon, I mean, Amazon, this is not a small company. Amazon is losing 6% of its value every day. Imagine you have a stock and it's Amazon's going down 6% every day. That chart is straight down. It's very serious, folks. It's very serious. Treasury yields up for the two-year Treasury yield to its highest level since 2007. Yes, this is the highest level we've seen the two-year Treasury note in nearly 20 years. And it's now 3.2%. It was just one and a quarter, just a short period of time. This is very bad news. If you have anything that is flexible-based interest at home, get rid of it. Credit card debt, pay it off right away. It's going to cost too much money to carry it. Number two, if you have car loans, pay it off. If you can switch it to something fixed, that's good. But if you can't, you got to get rid of it. Why? Starting tomorrow on the day after, the Federal Reserve will have those FOMC meetings, and we know Jay Powell's going to do half basis point. In fact, I'm now predicting three more half basis point increases. Do not be surprised if Jay Powell does three quarters tomorrow. It would spook the market if he does it. I don't think he's going to do it. I just think he's going to do a lot of half basis point increases. And with that, your flexible rates that you have at home are going to be really bad. Also an issue is the layoffs. Tonight, more layoffs announced, and we've been talking about this for a while on this channel. We've been talking about it since those Walmart corporate earnings about a month ago that said there's too many store employees on the floor. We're not selling the products. Then, two Saturdays ago, Tesla announced 10% of its U.S. workforce laid off and a hiring freeze coming thereafter. And then last week, we had the data from... Jim Cramer, who said that tech companies in Silicon Valley are laying off left and right. Tonight, the unemployment surging out of control and more corporate layoffs. First, number of new jobless claims released last Thursday, 240,000 approximately. This is a horrible number. We were 200,000 when we went into the pandemic. It's supposed to be 183 now. It's 240 plus approximately. It's going to go higher. Number two, corporate America has seen major layoffs even among the strongest of the companies. Tesla again today announced more corporate layoffs of its Singapore country manager. And Elon Musk warned of further global corporate tax uh, 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 layoffs across the board. The continued unemployment claims in the United States are clearly over 1.3 million. More troubling news as well tonight. The other troubling news to well as well tonight is that the global impact of our falling apart economy is being felt. Over in Italy, they're seeing a 10-year bond yield to 4%, a level never seen since 2014. German and Italian bonds are at levels that have never been seen since the pandemic or worse. And the consumer confidence now in Europe is the worst it's seen since the lockdown. 
Remember, the only way that the economies of the Western allies, which include us, work is if we're all stable. If we're all stable, if one of those symbiotic countries fall into recession, we all go in there. But at the moment tonight, it looks like we're the first one to go into the recession. That FOMC meeting is tomorrow. More about that second. This is why you have to get that forcible check in every U.S. state. About five days ago, I changed the narrative on this channel. And what was the narrative? It was really basically the mindset. I said, I could talk about all the clusters on the Build Back Better Act. I could talk about first class is great and third class is great and the second class is great. And I could talk about how they're going to get done by the midterm elections. But about a week ago, I said, I can't say that. It would be disingenuous to say that based upon the economic data I now have, which we didn't have before. You may not survive in 90 days financially if you don't get the four stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. You may not survive because the downturn of this economy in the next 90 days is going to be so severe, and they're not going to get you the Build Back Better Act in your hands in the next 90 days. Here's what to know tonight. There are three phases I've identified for this economy. The current phase, the phase starting in September, and the third phase in January of next year. What are you watching on this channel? You're watching Ally that does three things in every video. Tells you where this economy is right now, tells you where we're going, and gets you money. I'm getting you money in just a second after the commercial break. Phase one tonight is not as bad as, you th as many Americans believe it is. Most Americans believe this is the worst it's going to get. It's not. They believe this is the recession. It's not. And their consumer confidence is falling apart. Here's the reality check. You know it because I've been telling you this. The next phase, phase two, which is September, is horrific. That will look like the lockdown of March 2020. That is much worse than it is right now. Much worse. The great news is we are, as a family on this channel, a community called the Purple Power Community. The great news is that this is just June, and that is September. So you got months to prepare financially for you and your family and your household because I'm telling you what's going to happen in September. You can prepare now in June. That's the difference between now and the lockdown of, of 2020. The lockdown hit. You had no time to prepare. You had to go into lockdown you are aware you're going to lose your restaurant, lose your home, lose your business, lose your car, lose your lose your apartment. This time and around, we have a we have a grace period. We have a warning period that we can make changes to our behaviors between now and September, so that we are more financially independent when it hits like a tsunami in September. But that's just phase two. Phase three will be January of 2023. We're going into recession in January 2023. Now, let's make this very clear. If you're new to this channel, my financial analysis, my financial predictions have been right since 2021 on everything. Recession, on recession, inflation, unemployment, and more. And in February this year, I was the only person to say we're going into recession next year. Tonight, breaking news on that front as well. Morgan Stanley's head says there's now a 50-50% chance we're going to recession. This is a big breaking news story, folks, because we've had very few banks even use the word R, and let alone definitively. Deutsche Bank was the first major bank after me. I started reporting about recession in 2023 back in February. They announced it in April. Tonight, for Morgan Stanley to say there's a 50% chance of it, it's significant. Most analysts don't want to even use the word, and here we go. It's possible we're going to recession, probably 50-50 odds, says James Corman, CEO of Morgan Stanley, late tonight. That's up from his initial 30% risk assessment. People like Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase does not even want to use the word recession. He just wants to talk about downward spiral of the economy. Consumer confidence is now tonight at a lower level than even a Friday. Is that possible? Here we go. Consumer confidence gauged tonight by the New York Fed, this is breaking news, said that Americans fearing they're going to lose their, lie, their, their jobs rose 11.1%, still below the highest levels of January of this year, but that is substantially higher than initially thought. Expectations for unemployment to be higher increased to nearly 39%. That's the highest level since February 2021. So people believe that unemployment is very possible now for the worst for the worst sentiment that we have seen since coming right out of that lockdown in February of 2021. This is breaking news from the New York Fed. They're gauging the economy based on their actions. Here's also breaking news tonight as well. Consumer spending, meaning household expectations for spending increased year-to-date 9%. 
that's up 5.5 percent per year to, before uh, the year before now let me let's make this very clear this is very important to analyze this data it's not that you're spending a lot of more money because you just want to celebrate life it's because the items you have to have to live on cost a lot more money so it's not like you're buying more detergent. It's that the detergent is nine percent more. It's not like you're buying more food. It's just the food is more is more money, nine percent. It's not like you're driving more. It's the gasoline's more, and that's why consumer spending is up nine percent. It's costing you nine percent more to live is basically the better way to describe the number. The great news amidst all this is that your benefits checks will be definitely going up next year. Wow. This is seven stimulus, but with a fascinating twist. This morning on Morning's L.A., I told you this is coming up tonight on Evening's L.A., and it's coming up late in this recording. Here's the, here's the teaser for what's coming up in the second half. Your benefits will go up at least, pause, drum roll, 8% starting this December. Congratulations. Yes, this is everything we've ever fought for. This is the SS300. This is swapping the color for inflation and getting 8%. Well, we're not swapping it. We're getting the 8% another way. How is this other way? It's coming up in the second half. It is really great, great news. Your benefits are going up. Now, let's go back to the data points that I want to go over tonight for you that are so important. First, Auto sales are down dramatically, 24% year to date, because what's going on with the auto industry is that they are working in a bubble-like environment. I got to tell you, the auto industry is going to collapse like you've never seen like a brick, because the auto manufacturers are selling cars at a higher price point, thinking they can gouge you like it's 2021, and you're not buying because car loans are too expensive because the interest rates, and there's no one buying cars. This industry is going to collapse like you've never seen it before. Travel and leisure much the same way. They're sticking you with massive rise of prices for that domestic airfare, $500 domestic U.S., and no one's paying for it after Memorial Day weekend because they can't afford it. Also, going to bust. The housing industry, year-to-date down 11%. The mortgage uh, demand is down to its lowest level in 20 years. Why? The home builders thought they could raise the price of the homes because you absolutely demand a home no matter what. They thought. <laughs> so their material costs went up, their labor went up. They rose the price. And then guess what happened? You didn't show up. You did not show up to the open house. You were not even interested in that price board. Moreover, you couldn't afford that price board because the mortgage rate has now surged from 3.5% to 5.5%. You can't afford a house at 5.5%. And guess what's happening? Buy home owners are now having to slash the price of the homes dramatically to clear out the inventory. Folks, I talked about this a month ago. You know what I said? I said the notion that people pay all cash is a fake narrative because guess what? The cash comes from somewhere else. They don't have the cash sitting around. They sell something else to come up with the all cash. And tonight, a whole major market that's behind buying the houses of 2021 is gone. What is that industry? Crypto. Crypto has now imploded to the levels that we were told were going to happen. Back about five months ago on this channel, I got rid of all crypto recordings because I did not want people going into crypto. And about a week ago, the Gemini, the Gemini heads said we're going into crypto winter, which means a crypto crash. Tonight, we're in the crypto crash. Bitcoin is at the lowest level since 2020. 2020, down to $24,000 a share. Actually, at the time of tonight's recording, it was about 23000 and change. And analysts now believe it could go down 30% worse Yes, you could see Bitcoin from its all-time highs of 40,000, 43,000 going to 16,000. Guess what? The people who are going to sell out their crypto positions to buy houses will not be doing that because it's not going to bring them enough cash to buy the homes. What about the people who own the Amazon shares, the Wells Fargo shares that are down 6% or Goldman Sachs uh, shares that are down 5%? They can't sell those shares. What about people who own Amazon stocks? They can't sell it. It's down 6% every single day. 6% a day. So the housing market's going to crash. What about that storm out to sea? That storm out to sea is next year. And the narrative I pivoted on this channel the last few days is, I don't want you to think about phase three, which is January 23, 23. I want you to focus on the next 90 days. I want to focus you on between now and September. I need you to financially survive between now and September. And then after that, we'll focus on September to January. As one viewer said in the live chat on Home Ally today at noontime, 
they're very worried that a lot of Americans won't survive between now and September. Here's what you need to know when looking at this data is that gas prices are surging out of control and they're not going to stop. They're likely to go $10 a gallon. Why? Because there's been no deal lined up for these gas for the gasoline shortage to be replenished with another source. Let me tell you what's happening tonight. The Western allies and the President of the United States have dropped the ball in this big, big time. Because they, you, and I all knew that Vladimir Putin may invade Ukraine back in October of last year. On Halloween of last year, I said, there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. What are they doing there? If they invade Ukraine, there may be a major economic problem. This would be it for 2022, and we'd have big problems with oil. Did any of the Western allies line up a solution to get an oil replacement last year? No. When Putin invaded in March, did any of the Western allies get lined up a solution to get oil replaced? No. Tonight, is there a solution lined up to get oil replaced? No, there is not. And so with the gasoline prices at $5 a bear, at five dollars at the pump, you're likely to see it go to $10 a gallon. That is really only coming from my mouth this, this month, but most analysts agree about the international price of Brent crude could go to 185 It's currently 120 Why do the Western allies have no solutions lined up? Well, at this point, they had five solutions, and they've killed about four of them. The first one was Venezuela. Venezuela is the biggest producer of gasoline, and they could have done it with them that they banned them from the Western America's conference last week in Los Angeles. Gone. Brazil, also same situation, banned them. Iran, that was a likely deal back in the month of March. They're negotiating the JCPOA in, in Brussels, France, to get the oil from Iran. That fell apart. We don't know what happened. Meantime, that leaves us really only two last options. The OPEC plus nations, of which Saudi Arabia is one of the uh, one of the countries. To do a deal with Saudi Arabia, you have to do a deal with OPEC Plus. Last week, we had the great news from OPEC Plus that they're increasing production. That would increase. That would potentially alleviate some of the strain that we're having on the supply chain disruption. But the White House poo pooed it, and then we heard over a week ago that the President of the United States is going to Saudi Arabia to meet with them, and allegedly, off the record, the insider said to get a deal with oil. Thank goodness. Five countries, five options. We've killed four of them. We're left with one, and we're going to do the deal with the last one. Are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. On Friday, in the Santa Monica Municipal Airport, the president was finally asked the question, million-dollar question we've been all asking. Are you going to Saudi Arabia, Mr. President, to do a deal to get us some oil? He said, no, I am not. I'm not getting oil from Saudi Arabia. Well, what are we going to do here? There's 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing a day because we have now banned Russian oil and OPEC Plus has reduced capacity. And with 3.5 million barrels of missing per day, there's only those five countries that can produce 3.5 million barrels a day. We can't. Even when you open Keystone, even if we ramp up production in West Texas or East Texas, we can't generate anything like that. It's 3.5 million barrels a day. The president was under fire on Friday when he talked about Price gouging is the cause behind it. It's not. And ultimately, this is a problem that's going to get worse because there is no inherent solution lined up across the board. You see what's going on here, folks, is you got to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state because this economic situation, whether it's unemployment, whether it is inflation, whether it's gas prices, whether it's recession, whether it's any of these problems I just went over, they're going to get worse. There is no there is no look or left that look that suggests that any of these situations are improving. Why would you wait to get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state? In the second half of this video, we're going to get those checks. Step one: subscribe to this channel. In the second half, we're going to go over those incredible checks. Step two: become a member. Step three, go into that membership newsletter and go right down there and get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state. You deserve that force stimulus check in every U.S. state. Get it right tonight and get it before this economy gets any worse. How worse will this economy go oh, get? Let's go over the details of it. Remember, become a member, get that newsletter, and get those incredible checks in every U.S. state. In the next 90 days, this is what's going to happen. First, do not depend the gas is going to go lower. Do not depend inflation is going to go lower. Do not expect fast action from Congress on anything. But in the next 90 days, consumer confidence is going to get worse. Spending is going to decrease. And consumer income is also going to decrease. Going higher in the next 90 days will be the price of goods, recessionary wins, and mortgage rates. 
Unemployment will surge, gas prices will grow, and interest rates will grow. Why would you wait to get a forced stimulus check that is in every U.S. state tonight? You just can't. You got to get the check tonight. Because the financial downturn of this economy, as we are in phase one right now, is going to be a lot worse in September. That's phase two. And you can't wait to get these checks as we head into phase two, because when phase two hits, this is what's going to happen. Millions of Americans are going to say, okay, I lost my job. Do you have some PUA as an independent contractor for me, Allied? No, I don't. It doesn't exist anymore. They got rid of it in 2020. Do you have any FPC, that extra $600 a week on top of my existing benefits? No, it doesn't exist anymore. They got rid of it in 2020. Do you have any PEUC, extra weeks of UI? No, it doesn't exist anymore. I'm about to lose my small business ally. Do you have an, an EI deal grant for me? No, I don't. Do you have any EI deal loan? No, I don't. Do you have any, any types of business grants? No, I have none of them. They don't exist. They got rid of all this stuff in 2020. What I believe is that the vast majority of Americans do not know what stimulus packages were, were removed from the government in 2020, and they still, still think they're around. And when we go into phase two, Americans are going to say, hey, I want that stimulus from 2020. Give me some more of it. And the answer is, doesn't exist. That's why you got to get this forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these checks. Step one for you, subscribe. Go right in this video right now. Go under the video and hit that subscribe button because you want to be part of the number three most watched financial news channel in America. With the most comprehensive coverage of today's economic details, the projections of where we're going, and getting you money in every single recording. Number two, there's a little bell under the video. Hit that, or at the front of this channel, hit that bell. There's two, notific two notification settings. You want the one that says all notification settings so you get a notification when a new video goes live and number three become a member go right on the video and hit that join button join and become a purple hawk purple power or calcino vip and the second half of this video we're going to go over these big checks they came from joe biden there's three ways to get checks two of the ways are coming up in the second half stimulus checks have now landed in every u.s state from joe biden by executive action and from the states because they had the leftover money from a previous stimulus package I'm going to go over how to get those incredible checks in the second half of this video. All you got to do is become a member. Stay with me in the second half. We're going to go over these big checks, and then we're going to go over how to get them through the newsletter. And then we're going to go over the exciting details of that rising up of your benefits. Yes, your benefits are going up next year. How much? And what was that major announcement by the Social Security, Social Security Administration today? It's a big evening, and we're just getting started. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. As America's most watched show in financial news goes into its second half, I'll see you back in 60 seconds with those big checks as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. 
And the excitement continues in the big second half as Evenings LA goes into a big second half for June 13th, 2022. Big money is available in every U.S. state, and thank goodness you asked for it. I found it back in the month of March. We're going to go over those big checks now in the second half. That four stimulus check is in every U.S. state. You qualify for it, and I'm going to show you how to get it. Did you become a member during the commercial break? Do it right now if you did not. Go under the video and hit that join button. Hit that join button, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter and get those big four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. And with that, we're going to go over those big checks starting right now. One of the things that I love about my viewers is that when I teach you something, you do it really well. And in March of this year, you did something that I taught you a long time earlier. Get money when it's available and get it when times are better, not when times are worse. I taught you that before. For example, when we talked about uh, November, I said get the money for the nonprofits for the heating oil before it gets too cold. Because when it gets really cold, then everyone's asking for the heating oil money. So back in March, this economy was not doing that well, but it wasn't doing that poorly. Most Americans thought, you know, maybe it'll just sort of fizzle out and just come back stronger. But you understood that it was so unstable in March, you really needed a stimulus check. You said, LA, can you go get me a stimulus check in March of 2022? Build That Better Act was not getting done. You were tired of waiting. You wanted to make more financial independence for you and your family. And you said, go find a check. And I did. Where did I find the checks? Two different places. Executive actions from Joe Biden and also from your state. I gave them a lettering system, A, B, C, and subsequently. And I focused on eligibility. It's so important because I want as many of you to qualify for the money. That's what works, of course. So I got the checks. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. Rent or own, have children, don't have children, every U.S. state, go get it. How do you do it? Let's go over the details. The very first check is among the many big checks. I want big checks for you, not a couple hundred dollar checks. I want thousands or tens of thousands of dollars of checks so that you're financially independent, so that you can survive through now to phase two of September and survive into phase three of early next year. Let's go over each of these checks, starting with the very first one. If, you have, if you're a member, follow along with the membership newsletter right now as we go over all the incredible details. These huge checks start, of course, with check A. It is $6,500 to $12,000. It's a monster check, and it's absolutely incredible. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get this huge check A. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, go get it. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 check. It's called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get this? So simple. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, go into that membership newsletter and go down to you find the wonderful check A. It'll have a link. You go into the nationwide website. You choose your state. You choose the weatherizing grant check, and you pounce, and you get this wonderful check, $6,500 to $12,000. But you're not going to stop there yet. After you get check A, you're going to go get your check B application on file. The payment times on the checks are about one week, a little bit more sometimes. Fifteen to $80,000 check B. Average view of this channel is getting $66,000 to $80,000. It's monster. It's a monster check. Imagine how much money, how much financial independence, how much, uh, how many bills would be paid with an $80,000 check. Yeah, that's what I aspire for, and here you go. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. It's called the homeowner's grant check. How do you get it? You know the narrative. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, go into the membership newsletter. Become a member. Go under the video, join right now, where it says join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And then go down in that membership newsletter to you find Check B. When you see Check B, then click the link, and it'll send you into the nationwide website. Choose your state and pounce and get that money, Purple Hawks. You're not done there yet. Go get Check C. Check C is a wonderful check for my renters and my homeowners. It is a $2,000 a month over 12-month average check. 
and it is a monthly stimulus check. It is astronomical. How do you get check C? Very similar to A and B, but with a slight different twist. You're not applying online, you're making phone calls. So, in the case of check C, you subscribe to this channel, you go into the membership newsletter, you go down the membership newsletter to find check C. And then when you see it, you apply. You, you, you make the phone call. Lots of phone calls. Upwards of 15 phone calls in that membership newsletter explains where to call, what to say, how to say it, and how to get those incredible sums of money. This Check C success stories of this channel date back to December 2020. We've been getting people a lot of money on this Check C for a long time. This channel has gotten viewers over $50 million in the last year and a half that it's been around. But Check C has been one of the big success stories. Why? Because viewers were taught this in December 2020 by me. And then when it became law in third stimulus, they were skilled about how to get it. It's all about the skill set. Me teaching you and you learning and you doing it based upon the skills I impart to you. A lot of people have never called to ask for anything before until they watch this channel. And that's what happened when we did that money at the time. When it became third stimulus, well, viewers really cleaned up. And they cleaned up royally because at that point, they understood how to get this money and do it even better than before. And what happened? Here you go. $20,000 to $30,000 for rent. That's what viewers got. $15,000 to snap like Mark's brother-in-law. That's what they got. That's how they learned. That's how they bounced. That's how you'll do the same. $25,000 a year for snap. That's what they got. That's what you're going to get as well. If you pounce and you learn and you apply, here's a combo. Multiple items, yes, Nisi was at 23000 in, in fall of 2021. She's now at 50000 because she keeps on going back and getting additional sums of money. Mark was at 32000 He went from 32000 to 50000 then from 50000 to 100000 and 100000 to 166 He got check B just a few days ago. Lorraine, she was at 105 She went to 120 Then it's keep on going higher. Whether it's Lorraine or Mark or Nisi or Margaret or Johnny, these are viewers who listen to learn. Because what do I say? You get one check, then you get another check. And you keep on getting checks. That's what I impart with my viewership of the channel. If times are good, you get a check. If times are bad, you get a check. You keep on getting checks. And this is what you got to do. Because why? Today is June 13th, 2022. And the economy is whatever it is. But this situation is a stage one. This is not as bad as it's going to be in September. It's going to be horrific in September. But the great news is that I have the predictions of where this economy is going so that you can prepare yourself financially now in June before September. It's unlike that pandemic lockdown of March 2020 where you were given literally no warning. Literally no warning to go on lockdown and suddenly... You had big financial problems. People looking left and right for stimulus right as, as that lockdown was announced. This is different. You're watching this channel because I give the correct financial analysis of where the economy is going months ahead of time. So you know it before anyone else. The people who are going to swim in this economy are people who have knowledge. You. The people going to sink are the people who don't have knowledge. The person on the front porch next door that doesn't want to learn anything. Those people are going, to sw are going to sink because they're not going to understand how bad this economy is going to be. And that is why it's important to get every check that you can get. Let me go over where this economy is going to be and how bad it's going to be. And then I got that great news for you about those raising up of your benefits. In the next 90 days, millions of Americans are going to get laid off. And they're going to look high and low to get a replacement job and it won't be there. They're going to think that the economy is still as strong as it was in February, and they're going to get confused. They're going to realize that there's no job next door. They think that if they get laid off, the employer's next door is going to be around. It's not going to be around. They think there's going to be an employer that's going to give them a salary raise. It's not going to happen. And they think that employer is going to give them a signing bonus. Not going to happen. Then they think if they can't find a job, there'll be unemployment stimulus. There's none of those things. And that shocking reality is going to hit like a brick. Next, small business owners who think that the downturn right now where you see less customers in the store is going to change and that the customers are going to come back when the weather changes. No, if you are a business owner, small business owner, you're watching this channel and you have less customers in the store, it's going to get worse as the year goes on. This is just as bad as it's starting. 
it's going to substantially get worse by the end of the year. And the industries where people bet it the wrong way are just going to absolutely implode. Whether it was a crypto investor who thought that their, their, their Dogecoin was going to $1, ridiculous. Whether it was a Bitcoin investor who thought they were going to go to $100,000 by June, ridiculous. Uh, whether it was a, a real estate uh, investor who thought, I'll buy real estate at the high end because the real estate's a great investment, never goes down, it's going down. Or, or, or a car dealer who thinks, you know what, I'll just buy that car and stick and raise the price and just put some extra add-ons and people will buy because everyone needs a car. There's a shortage of cars. Not going to work. The economy changed dramatically quickly, and those people are going to be left on the wrong side of the stick. All right, let's go to the great news tonight, and it's really, really exciting news. It's also complicated news, and it's about your benefits. This morning on Mornings at Light, and today also at uh, on the afternoon show at 3 o'clock, I told you the story is coming up tonight. And I said it's incredibly great news, but it's also exceptionally complicated. So let me explain what's going on. First, we're going to talk about what this is, and then we go over the details. First, what is this? This is everything we've always talked about on this channel. This is SS300, Seven Stimulus. If you're new to this channel, let me tell you what's going on. Joe Biden ran, let me back up even before Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren ran for president on a platform to swap your call for inflation, to raise your benefits up, and do other reforms to the Social Security Administration. Then Joe Biden liked her presidential platform so much, he adopted them as his own, and she withdrew for her run for president. They became his platform to swap COLA for inflation. And then when he became president of the United States, it's at his presidential platform at JoeBiden.com. What does swap COLA for inflation mean? It means the following. Every December, your benefits are reassessed based upon a benchmark. That benchmark is currently COLA, C-O-L-A. And COLA generally doesn't move. It's a horrible benchmark. For many, many years, it's just never moved. So every year, your check looks exactly like your check the year before. They wanted to swap COLA for inflation because inflation is tracking how much it costs to live. Your bread goes up inflation. Your gas goes up inflation. Your COLA may not move if inflation's going up. You got lucky last December because last December they had not swapped COLA for inflation yet. And COLA came in at about 5.8%. Good. You got cheated because inflation was 8%. Spring of last year, I said Joe Biden needs to make that swap from COLA to inflation to lock in that 8%, which I predict was going to come in for inflation in December. It did. Since December of last year, I've talked about the importance of Joe Biden make that swap from cold to inflation. This is the part, two part part of the NAS, two part prong of the analysis I've gone over. If he makes a swap from cold to inflation today, your benefits go up now because we're in the middle of the year, and then at the end of the year they do that reassessment. So we're in the middle of the year. We're in June. You get a jump up now, and then you get a reassessment later this year. And I said, and you understood that Joe Biden needs to make that swap to inflation when inflation is high. That's pretty easy. Inflation's high. We understand that. Don't wait till inflation's low, like 1%. You do it when inflation's high. We understand that CPI read, which we saw early in this recording, 8.5%. So inflation is the highest price point right now. Do the swap. And then if inflation comes at 4% later this year, as I've been predicting, that will raise your benefits up another $100. So that's SS300. Now, let me take a step back on something else, which is very, very important. The Swapping COLA for inflation does not require an act of Congress. It just requires a phone call for the president to the Social Security, Social Security Administration head saying, I want you to change how you calculate the, benef the benchmark every year. Swap COLA for inflation. Done. Don't need an act of Congress. Okay. So what happened today? What happened on Friday? And what is happening in December? Let me slow this down because this is great news, but it's also complicated. Based upon the current numbers in June of 2022, if inflation really is tracking where it's expected to go, the Senior League Citizens League now believes that the COLA number for, for December, COLA, not the inflation, COLA, will come in at 8.6%. Basically, they believe that without swapping COLA to inflation, that COLA currently may come in at 8.6% in December, which would mean your benefits would go up 8.6% starting December, lifetime, not just one month, not just one year, but lifetime. 
But now let's go over the analysis. It's a little bit more complicated than that. The colon number is not dependent upon the month of June. It's not dependent upon the month of May. The number is based upon the activity in the final quarter of the year. The final, the third quarter, excuse me, the third quarter of the year, not the fourth quarter of the year. It's based upon the data in the month of July, August, and September. Pretty simple. So you want the data to be as high as it is now, next month, July, the month after that, August, and the month after that, September. So if it is, Alec, does that mean I get 8.6% higher raise for my benefits? Not just yet. Let me show you why. There's a, there is a, uh, there is a, a series of interviews of a different bunch of groups, and they are, they're running the numbers, and everyone runs numbers differently. And I got to tell you, the lowest end of the number is great. The highest end of the number is insanely great. So the lowest end of the number is 8%. 8%. The highest part of the number is 8.6%. So it may not be 8.6%. It may be 8%. Now I'm going to give you my part of the analysis in just a second. What's going on? The senior league, which I just went over, they believe that the number will be 8.6% based upon where we're tracking right now. Uh, and that is a nonpartisan senior group. Here is the big shocker tonight on Evening's LA for June 13th, 2022. I'm very proud to announce this to you. The Social Security, Social Security Administrator's Chief Actuary, Stephen Goss, in a statement obtained by LA to News tonight, says that this year's COLA being released in December that would raise your benefits up next year could be closer to 8%. That's a direct quote. Congratulations. Congratulations. And that is more than the 3.8% that they thought it was going to be earlier this year based upon February to mid-February data. Yeah, if you watch this channel for a while, you know you've heard these numbers before. Earlier this year, I said that Joe Biden swaps COLA for inflation tonight, you'd lock in uh, eight, you'd lo lock in 8%. And then if inflation comes in in December, I believe it's going to be 4%, then you lock in another $100 on top of that. That was talking about inflation in four, at 4% 4 later this year. The actuary now believes it's not going to come in at 4% later this year. They believe it's going to come, come in close to 8%. Whoa. Now, what is it? I've never gone into this analysis before because I think it's too complicated for viewers of the channel, but I'll try it right now. Is swapping COLA for inflation what they're doing in this calculation? No, they're going off of just COLA. What is COLA? COLA is derived from the final, excuse me, from the third quarter of the year's data. And that data is a part of the CPI released Friday. Yes, that CPI number, which I told you is so important, which we've been going over since last Friday, that's a consumer price index number that surged out of control that showed you that inflation is going out of control last Friday, 8.5%. There's a subsection of CPI, and it's called CPI-W. CPI-W. That stands for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers. I know you're not a clerical worker, but that's just what it's called. And that is... CPIW, which is part of this CPI, is what is used to determine your COLA. And currently, that CPIW has climbed to 9.3%. 9.3%? So you mean if they swapped it today, it would be 9.3%? If they, if they did the benchmark today, it would be 9.3%? Yes. If they did the calculation of your annual benefits upon a benchmark today, which they don't do it because it's the middle of the year, it would be 9.3%. So the Social Security Administration actuary, Stephen Gross, says it's 9.3% that CPIW right today. Uh, I believe it's, it's going to bring COLA in about 8% by the end of the year. That's what he says. Senior League says 8.6%. I got to tell you, it's looking really good. Now, I want to go over something else. This is separate from this. Let me pause before I go over to something else. This is confirmed. This is confirmed if the data of this economy stays as bad as it is. If it actually gets worse, the economy, this number is going to be in higher. Takeaway is, let me summarize where we are so far. The takeaway is that the Social Security Administration is basically saying, based upon how high inflation is and how likely it's not going to come down that much, I'm putting the rise of your benefits starting next year at about 
and 8%. That's what he's saying right now. I'm putting it at about 8%. One nonprofit group says, I'm running the same data, and we don't see 8%, we see 8.6%. And that is based upon if the economy does not get any bit worse, if it gets worse, or if it sustains the current levels of how bad it is, it's going to be 9.3%. I got to tell you that we will see by September if NEJ Powell's raising of interest rates is going to work for the supply chain disruption and the inflation. I don't think it is. And so I think it's very possible that you're not going to see 8. You're going to see closer to 8.6, 8.7, 8.8. Yeah, for your raising of your benefits. Congratulations. All right. That is absolutely happening. That is absolutely happening. So do we need that swath of coal to inflation? Uh, you still want it, um, but you may not need it if this holds up so far. Wow. Okay, now let me turn to a related subject. I don't want to get this confused with what I just went over because it sounds like the same, but it's different. On Friday, right after that CPI number was released, a series of new bills were introduced to Congress about raising up your benefits. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you understood that I always talked about this as seven stimulus, uh, as fifth stimulus. Why fifth stimulus? Because I believe it has to go by reconciliation. I do not think Republicans would, would change the system or raise your benefits up. But let me tell you the bills that were introduced. On uh, last Thursday and Friday, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren as a team introduced a new bill to fix Social Security as a whole, not just this item. That's called the Social Security Administration, a Social Security Expansion Act. And that would swap COLA to CPIE. <laughs> More about that in a second. And then that same day, Representative John Larson, who's out of Connecticut, introduced the Social Security 20, 2010 Act, which would also swap COLA to CPIE. Meantime, the senior, uh, Seniors Citizens League have also caused, called for swapping COLA to CPIE. Who also has called for swapping COLA to CPIE? I have, you have, and so is Joe Biden. CPIE is basically inflation. Yes. Swapping COLA to inflation is really swapping COLA to CPIE. If I was simplified it for you, because CPIE is hard to say and hard to understand. No one really understands what CPIE is. It's a subsection of CPI. But now three different groups in a few days have now introduced legislation to swap your COLA for, to inflation, which would be even higher than this. Let me recap, because this has been a lot. I told you it's going to be complicated. To recap, one. If the economy continues as bad as it is right now, the Social Security Administration head himself believes your benefits will go up 8% starting in December, that your benchmark announcement for COLA will be, at COLA will be 8%. Number two, using the same data right today, a nonpartisan group believes it'll be 8.6%. Using the same data, I believe that the economy is actually going to be a little worse. I don't think it's going to be as good as it's tracking right. I don't think it's going to settle down as much as they think it's going to settle down. I think it's going to be a little bit worse. So I think it's going to be 8.8, 8.9. It's currently 9.3. Will it be this bad in December? Uh, or actually, July, August, or September? It's very possible. It's very possible. Remember, it's not in December. It's July, August, September is when they do the read. So j Powell has, you know, one or two in more interest rate spikes if he doesn't bring down inflation in the next 60 days, you could have this 9.3% right now. Um, very, very fascinating across the board. Now, on the other side of the equation is this changing of the Social Security Administration head, Social Security system as, as a whole, swapping that COLA to CPIE. That would give you a little bit more. But here's the other part of the equation, which is very obvious. These numbers are looking really good for this year. These numbers are looking really good for you this year. This swapping COLA to CPIE would be every year. So next year, if inflation is gone and we don't have inflation anymore, and you know we're in a recession, and you know we're losing our hair, then you would still swap COLA to inflation to, to inflation CPIE. A lot of great news across the board. I know it's a lot to digest, and it's a night like this where there is so much going on. Uh, and I promised you I was going to go over that in prime time on America's Most Watched Show for Financial News, Evenings LA. What's also happening in the next 90 days? In the next 90 days, you're going to see this channel be bigger, bolder, and larger than you ever saw it before. You expected it. You knew it was coming. 
this channel's focus is to become number two most watched financial news channel in America. Broadcast, streaming, or any other platform. Tell your friends to come on over. Tell your friends this is the channel where I'm learning where this economy is going weeks, months before it happens. This is the channel that's getting me money. This is the channel that's preparing my family financially to understand what to prepare for before it happens. We all went through that lockdown together. We had no preparation for it because we were just told overnight, go on lockdown. This time is different. There's a storm out to see. The storm is down the road, whether you use Jamie Dimon's language or my language six months, three months later, earlier. And when it hits, people are going to be prepared for it or not prepared for it. You're going to be prepared for it. And anyone who watches this channel, anyone who becomes a member is going to be prepared for it. Get every check you can get on this channel. Get every check. Get check A. Get check B. Get check C. Check D is in the newsletter as well. And then go back and get more check C's. Keep on getting checks like Margaret and Johnny and Lorraine and, and, and Mark do on a regular basis. Keep on getting checks because you got to. The downward spiral in this economy is really pronounced and it's just starting. It's phase one tonight and it'll be phase two in September. By phase three in January, who knows? With no solution lined up for gasoline, the gasoline is the most obvious part of this economy that could throw us into a tailspin down dramatically. And remember, the symbiotic relationship of the United States with the Western allies is if they have major problems, we're going to have major problems. Tonight, Italy is seeing numbers they haven't seen since 2014. Their inflation out of control, their bond yields out of control, their numbers are going out of control. And the only difference between them and us is not a bear market, is not a beautiful surf, is not lobster shorts in the senator's office in Washington, D.C. No, the difference with us is that we have a forcible check in every U.S. state. Why would you wait to get that forcible check? Get it tonight. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Go right on the viewer video right now. Hit that join button. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, delivered via the YouTube alerts. Get it. Get those checks in every U.S. state. And stay with me throughout the night because we have a lot more shows coming up. We have Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock. We have Evenings LA every night at 5 o'clock. Showing Simulus at 7, Extra at 8, Sunset at 9, and then we go into our overnight's programming. Join me then tomorrow morning and early mornings at LA starting at 4 a.m. Don't wait. Get these incredible checks in every U.S. state. You deserve it. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good evening. God bless. Have a beautiful night, and I'll see you as the programming continues throughout the evening.